Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. For Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn? Take what rest needs, leave it just not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit, right? I've been getting that a lot lately. A lot. Don't force it to fit. It's perfectly normal when bits and pieces resonate, not the whole thing. Very rarely is it the whole thing, and very rarely is it nothing at all. All right? So, there you go. If you're interested in something more specific to you, I strongly recommend a private reading. Description box. Okay? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. And what's going on for Capricorn, please? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to say things like past, present, future. It means nothing. We're all in different timelines on Terra. There's about 8 billion people on this planet. Divide that by 12 signs. 1 12th is Capricorn. There you go. So, for some of you, this is yet to be. Not at all. And some of you are right smack in the middle. So do keep that in mind, yeah? What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. What's that past looking like? Oh, something trying to come through. That six of one tried to pop out. Confidence, riding high in the streets of recognition, yeah? What else? What's going on? Seven of Cups, considering our options. Lovely. Nice. Considering our options in love. What's behind that Seven of Cups? Yes. You don't know exactly what the future home and happiness looks like for you, but you have an idea. There's options there, and you want to find out, right? There's a question here that needs to be solved. So you're typically two swords, not my favorite thing. But in this context, with the Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, you're willing to try, right? You don't know. This is also kind of it, it, the admission of, I don't know, right? I don't know what my Four of Wands is going to look like in the future, but I'm sure as hell going to find out. Good for you, Cappy. Good job. All right. I like it. I like the attitude. I like the determination. What's going on currently? What's going on currently? What's going on currently, please? What's going on currently for Capricorn? Mm. <sighs> Something to do with your intuition. I'm going to figure that out. Two of Pentacles. Mm. Looking at... In this deck, the priest is the high priestess. I guess they decided to make things fun by confusing. Okay, that's interesting. You're undecided about your intuition. Probably I'm going to go ahead and take a guess about a particular person. You don't know if your intuition about this person is correct. So you did meet someone. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. Otherwise, that confusion would not be here. Is what I feel for this person correct? You don't know, but you're trying to work it out. Because there's this idea of the sun, but the, I, the sun has turned your back to this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess here that this is a kind of distracting element, either a person or a situation. Whereas the sun is right behind you. Okay, if you turned around and looked at it. So that tells me then that, yeah, perhaps your intuition is correct. The situation you're in or the person you might be seeing may not be the one for you. Uh, because if you're having to think about it this hard, then it's probably no. Whereas the sun, the sense of future and direction of your happiness, also the card of Leo respectively, is right behind you. Okay, so great. You put yourself back out there, but you might be seeing someone that it's confusing. Okay, back and forth, two of pinnacles. I don't know what this is. You're trying to use your intuition, but that doesn't seem to, keep, you know, leave you any more informed. Am I right? All right, what's going on? Hmm. I hope you turn around so you can see your son, you know? The happiest card in the deck, yeah? Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please, for Capricorn. What's that future looking like? What's that future looking like for Capricorn, please? Ooh, temperance. Card of Sagittarius. Does not have to be. Time. Temperance, consideration, healing, to a Ten of Cups. Ooh, so, okay, what's behind that Ten of Cups? That's promising. What's behind that Ten of Cups, please? Oh, I remember to open my eyes. I am simply exhausted. <laughs> we had some disruptions last night. We ain't trying to deal with that. All right. The Prince of, watching a King of Cups. Watching a King of Cups. Okay, I hope you have not settled or concluded to watch a King of Cups instead of living it. Okay? I do believe there's... I'm showing this person time, temperance, and consideration because you are certain that this person is your Ten of Cups, but then why are you watching them then if you're so convinced? See? Okay. We will clarify, of course. It's just on the baseline, it's looking passive as opposed to active. I'm seeing more theoretical emotionality as opposed to the actual. So the actual is all theoretical here. We have temperance and the uh, page of wand, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the knight of sword. I apologize. I am so tired, like I was saying. 
I apologize. Taking action towards love. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, I'm really confused there. Why are you watching something that looks so gorgeous? Go get it. Yay! <laughs> Did I say I was tired? I just want to make sure I said that. I am tired. I apologize, Gabby. Okay, time, temperance, consideration. Hopefully you turned around from whatever this was that was distracting so you could find your son. And it might very well be with Leah or Sag. It's heavy fire energy, but you're also pulling up water, but the emotionality here as well. Lieutenant, you're taking action towards this King of Cups, eh? Excellent. You're hoping that it will lead to a Ten of Cups, I do believe. But that's the whole point. It's like, I was really concerned. It's like, why are you watching? Why are you watching, though? Because this is gorgeous, but you don't get gorgeous, okay? Uh, by watching, right? You got to do it by doing. So, good. Good. I think you believe in time you will have a Ten of Cups with somebody specifically. In the meantime, you're taking action towards that person specifically. Nice. Good job. Good job. All right. I see you having your heart space open, your interest. The Four of Wands is also interest, right? The interest of my personal happiness. Your concept to that is open. You don't know. You don't know what it's going to look like, but you're going to find out. All right? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. I'm like, why is Capricorn just watching with the toy phone? <laughs> no. Good. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. Excellent. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. A little disjointed, but... Other than that, is that King of Cups again? Manifestation. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Show me what I need to see. Please show me these Seven of Cups. You're clearly pursuing your options in love. Full stop. I mean, I really don't even need to clarify that. So I'm not going to hang out here too long. Show me the Seven of Cups, please. Show me the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups. What would make me happy? Because you've already thought about it. Boom. End of story. <laughs> That's it. Show me the four of wands. You don't really know what your personal sense of happiness looks like. You just know that you are going to aim for it, that you are going to achieve it. April might be a marker for some of you. Not all of you, but I am seeing the references to four, a fair amount. Okay. Spring in general, let's put it that way. So show me that four of wands, please. Show me the four of wands. Show me the four of wands. <laughs> really? Some of you are willing to do what it takes in this context. The Five of Swords also self-doubt. Okay, self-sabotage does not have to be. Just please be aware that if some of you are prone to setting yourself up for difficult situations, okay, um, stuff that you know is not going to pan out, that's not where your energy needs to be. Okay, so also again that kind of determination that I associate with Capricorn, that you're determined to win at all costs. Okay, for your own sense of personal happiness and uh, future home and stability. So just be a little aware of that because that in and of itself is self-sabotage. You can set yourself up for failure if you are willing to do anything that also constitutes the negative. So just be aware of that, please. I know, I know what would a Capricorn do for love. I got it. I got it. But again, that can also be a recipe for disaster. So you might want to keep them thoughts in check. All right. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. You guys know, that four ones again? I know that's what you're concerned with. And again, you don't know what this looks like, but you are keeping your options open and you have a better understanding of what it is that you want and what it is you want to see for yourself. Very good. Show me that two of swords, please. What is that two of swords about? You know, you may not have the best method of understanding, okay? You are trying to keep your energy more open as opposed to closed off. Okay, so that's some of that self-sabotaging energy I was talking about. If you want to go for somebody, make sure that first that they are correct and worth your time, energy, and effort. Are they responding to you or do they hold back? Because if they hold back, then you don't need to pay attention to them, yeah? Move your energy forward. So I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that you got lost in this a bit. And uh, so that might be very well then what it is that you are prone to. You putting your energy into someone who is not showing you the same level of interest. Okay, so that is one of the things that might be confusing your sense of intuition. So hopefully you correct that and that's probably what I'm seeing right here. Okay, just you being aware of that. I think you have, I think I'm looking at a Capricorn who's prone to this, has a history of this. Okay, self-sabotaging in terms of giving your energy to the wrong people, too conservative, not showing enough, not giving enough, that kind of thing. You seem to have an awareness of it, but I also see you willing to keep putting yourself out there, okay? Libra had the exact opposite. They put themselves out there this week and they're like, nah, and they took it all back. <laughs> but yeah, you're still willing to put yourself out there and that's lovely. Now, what is your intuition telling you? This is you seem to be distracted by your intuition. In other words, you don't know if you can trust it. So that's what's distracting you from the sun. So again, I'm seeing a Capricorn who already kind of has that MO. Okay. What is this uh, 
what's the intuition here? The start, you see, the hope and a wish. You've got a big old hope and wish attached to somebody and it's confusing you. You don't know if that's your intuition or what. You don't know what that is. Show me the intuition, please. What is it? What's the intuitive feeling here for Capricorn? What's the intuition here for? Okay. Could be literally with Libra. I think there's a reason I brought them up. There might be a reason why I brought Libra up. Actually, you've been featuring, if I, yes, not this week's, the ones that I'm doing like right now, like as in yours and everybody else's, but weeks prior to this, Capricorn's been featuring heavily in Libra's readings. So if any of you are feeling like you're having a hard time disconnecting from a Libra and you're wondering if their energy is just distracting, is your intuition right or wrong about them, it's looking like they are not correct. So that's very specific for some of you, not all of you. They might also have Libra in their chart. I'm talking like big three or big four. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, so is this Libra, what's going on with this Libra? It could literally be. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. So if you have to ask, again, remember what you learned back here. If you have to ask about what somebody's interest level is or you're concerned or confused or mixed signals, then no. Always assume no. Okay, that's not life advice for me. That's just what I'm seeing here. Okay, trust what energy is being received Okay, on a reciprocal level, all right? Um, is this situation or person I'm looking at, is it fair and balanced in the general sense? Again, if you have to think about it, then the answer is probably no, you know? Let's see, you know. Someone of you made offers. Again, that juggling element, emotional availability is in question with this person, so the answer is no. Okay, so the answer is no. There, I do believe a situation or a person distracted you and you're like, is this going somewhere? Is this doing something? Is it going to be fair and balanced? I believe the answer is no. So at this point, Capricorn, remember your lessons of the past. Turn around and face your sun. That's, it could literally be Leo, possibly even said. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun, please. <clears throat> Show me the sun, please. Yeah, so turn around. Okay. You have a six of cups waiting for you, but you need to turn around and get out of this. The answer is no. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I understand that your intuition, you know, for some of you, you just might have a hard time understanding it or feeling it. But here's the thing about intuition. It's not that your intuition's wrong. You can probably feel a connection with this person, but that doesn't mean it's likewise. And that's another reason why justice is there. Is it reciprocated? No, it's not. So even if your intuition about this person is correct, that doesn't mean that they're feeling it. Okay, so remember your lessons back here, all right? So yeah, you have the Six of Cups waiting for you. The sun, the happiness, it's looking gorgeous. Uh, anything more about the Six of Cups, please? I'd like to know more about this potential. There is a massive potential here for you. Whereas before, I'm not seeing the Twos, I'm not seeing the Two of Cups, I'm not seeing the Six of Cups, I'm not seeing the Ten of Cups. It's not till here and in your future. Show me the Six of Cups, please, for this Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Oh, yes. Virgo Capricorn Taurus, fellow Earth energy. I do believe that they could be your future. Even if they aren't, they do not, please do not take that as absolutes. That drives me nuts when people do that. It's more about the energy. Someone who is loving, nurturing, caring, possibly mother. Does not have to be, but the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress tend to have more of that mother status. And again, sex is relevant tarot. This could be a male who just kind of has a softer, caring for home energy. Okay, does not have to be. But yeah, there's a absolutely love prospect here with a potential queen of pentacles. But you got to turn around, honey, and stop giving your attention to that which does not serve you or does not show reciprocity. Okay, it's just, it's a waste of your energy. Okay. I've been seeing that for you for a couple of weeks. All right, some of the future. I do believe you start seeing this person sooner rather than later, as I said that. New. Yeah, I don't think... I, it could be a past, but I don't get that vibe now. I don't get that vibe, and that's because the sun's radiating too hard. So I'm seeing the Six of Cups more in the future context. You have yet to develop memories and feelings for this person, but when you do, it will be easy. It will be easy, whereas this is a struggle, and it's confusing, and nobody wants that. This has easy written all over it, okay? Which is lovely, right? The connection looks instant. It does look instant, I'm not going to lie, you know? It puts you in a fire space. Okay, show me temperance. I, I would love to know if it's literally Leo or Sag. They might be a double or triple fire, too. Show me temperance, please. Showing this time consideration and letting those cups develop. I mean, it's like a literal translation. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. It will be short. Oh. Oh. 
as I said that. Death is over temperance. Oh, no. I thought, oh, this is going to be a lovely dating period. No, it's going to move faster. <gasps> wow. Death is over temperance, baby. Whoa. Spirit's like, incorrect. You literally said it, Christina. Think about it. It's going to happen fast. This is an explosive sun situation. Oh, when you meet this person. So like I said, it will be easy. Spirit was like, the, the. It's not going to be, it's not going to be short. I mean, it's not going to be long at all. This is not going to be long and drawn out. This is going to happen rather fast. But you got to stop looking at people whose energy does not give back to you. Okay. Again, as a default, mixed signals mean no. Okay, and again, you can feel the attraction to somebody, but that doesn't mean it's it's shared. Okay, this is instantaneous. So that explains it then. This relationship will move rather fast. Death is over temperance. <laughs> now, now we just, now we had three major players on this board. Leo, uh, Sag, Scorps. Oh my, it's going to move fast. Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm trying to remember to get back to this. I have to remind myself to do time checks. I'm curious. For some of you, June is simply your marker. And then also for, like I said, um, heavy new, not reconnections, but new connections. Some reconnections. I shouldn't say that. Four, five, and six for a lot of people. Show me. This going to move fast though. Wow. Wow. Oh dear, oh dear, yes, the Empress, oh my, I told you, there's a very good chance that this person's got kids. Uh, the Empress, very strong, it could just be a reaction though, there's so much confidence in this Ten of Cups, it's not even funny. Not even funny how much confidence there is, this is your person, this is undisputedly your person, that's why you're moving so fast with it, it like I said, it feels natural, it feels easy, when you give this confusing disconnectivity up boom look how smooth that got look how smooth that got i need to do a time check um but yeah show me the knight of sword show me the knight of sword you're taking action towards this oh you're cutting it out you're cutting out all other options you're cutting out all of the options okay you're focusing exclusively on this person more of that earth energy here but the magician nine of pentacles yes and the two of pentacles that that juggling is going to stop you're going to become exclusive you're going to take action cut that out um you're going to become exclusive with this person like i said very quickly uh hair font is at the bottom of the deck card of taurus respectively but also confirmation of higher levels of commitment especially since we have the empress here over the ten of cups it's kind of like duh yes <sighs> That's just, you have no idea. Like, if you read tarot, you have no idea how strong that is. That's awesome. <laughs> They're gonna happen fast. <laughs> it's like, you thought it was gonna take time? Nah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. Hey, I needed that. I needed that. I needed that little bird. Let me tell you, I need a little, uh, oh. let me tell you. When I don't sleep, it shows. Show me that King of Cups, please. Oh, you happy. You so happy. You so happy, Cappy. That's awesome. Show me that King of Cups, please. Show me that King of Cups, please. Yes, this is your person. They are productive, too. They have a very strong quality of productivity around them. Uh, and again, very strong maternal type. Very strong maternal type. I must insist, they probably have kids. Didn't I see that before you once? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. It's all fair, it's all balanced, it's equal give and take, which was missing back here. That was definitely missing back here. Six of Pentacles, I might point out, is the lesser representation of justice. Anything else, please? It's it's fair, it's balanced, especially where the emotionality is concerned. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. In your past, a problem. Here, a problem. You meet this person, it stops being a problem. Six of Cups, emotional balance. Six of Pentacles, balance just in every realm, particularly where the heart space is concerned. The King of Cups. It's fair. I mean, it's just repetition. This is fair. This is equal. This is correct. This is Ten of Cups. And that's why you're moving so fast on it, because it feels easy and natural. You're not having to work. It doesn't feel like a mountain climb. And it's just, it has a certain flow to it. It's actually quite gorgeous. This is lovely. What's that Six of Pentacles, please? What's that Six of Pentacles? Anything else? Yeah, I just see you being incredibly happy. This is going to move. Yeah, and you have exquisite passion for this person. The Knight of Wands. Absolutely. So we've got love. We've got a sense of practicality here. Six of Pentacles. This is gorgeous. The Knight of Wands. You have passion for each other. It's equal, equal, equal. Okay, and again, it's equal passion because that Knight of Wands is over the Six of Pentacles, which is over the King of Cups. It's just fair. Across the board, it's fair. It's a fair exchange of, like, happily ever after energy. This is gorgeous. And just FYI... <laughs> 
going to move a little fast, but if it is this easy and natural and just gorgeous and the perfect fit, it's, it's probably going to. That's usually how these things work. Okay, let's do a time check. Six, again, is heavy for you. Also, your power number. I know, you get so much shit. Am I right? Six, six, six. Poor Capricorn. I know. Um... <laughs> No, I don't believe it. That's just all nonsense to me. It really is. Don't worry. I, I believe in the power of repeating messages, so when I see numbers over and over again, absolutely. But in terms of that nonsense attachment, no. God, no. No. That's still just a bunch of nonsense to me. King of Pentacles, you feel insecure. God, got so much equal energy here. Lovely, equal, intense, productive. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm about. Energy, it's gorgeous. That is so funny. That placement keeps drawing my attention. It's like... <laughs> this is so obscure. I'm sorry. I have to say this. This is so obscure. It truly, I am. I'm about to do a time check, and I do believe you have one person here you attach to rather quickly. Um, this is so obscure. If, by some odd chance, you are doing multiple dating, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, right? because I see your openness here. This is so obscure. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because I do see competing energies all the time. That's one of the reasons why I don't read more than two people, because competing energy is a real thing. If you're dating more than one person, particularly where a Sag or Scorpio is involved, I'm sorry, Scorpio don't kick Sag's ass. I don't know how else to put that. I don't know how else to put that. It's coming across so strong, but it's such for a minute. For the most part, the vaguer interpretation stands where it's not going to take much time at all. As soon as you free up your energy from old situations and things that don't serve you, this is going to move very fast. Uh, and I'm going to say very productive. Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Empress. You look good. You feel good. Absolutely. Cut out the juggling. No more confusion. Okay. Can I get a time check, please? Can I... Can I get a time check, please, for this person? Two. Could be February. Two weeks. Two days. Two months. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the communication will start at two. That's all I have. I'm sorry. Communication. The curiosity. The nervousness of putting ourselves out there because he represents that kind of nervous energy. It's like, oh my god, I'm really going to do this. After this is done, and again, you know, to just keep it in check, keep your expectations in check. The communication will be two days, two weeks, two months, hopefully not two years. Sword is typically not your energy. It tends to be a little bit uh, faster than that. And for some of you, it's simply February. The communication begins, or rather, this begins soon, February, possibly April. And again, for some of you, June. Nine of Pentacles again. Yeah, there, you see this person or they see you as very productive, very productive and very secure. Very productive, very secure. Yeah. They got some history, don't get me wrong, but they also have a strong personality for it. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, this is lovely. I'm so glad we got out of this quagmire. This is gorgeous. Wish I could have seen something like this for your new love rating. This is lovely. Okay, Cappy. Oh, oh. I don't know how much of this will apply. It's time to heal now. Okay. Okay. Any messages, please, for Capricorn? Anything that would be of use? Anything that would be of use, please? Anything? Okay. It was my fault, but I blamed you. See? Okay. For some of you, this has become something like a, a motto or an anthem. It was... You know, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I don't know who that needs to... I'm sorry. I'm not getting much on that. You know, I'm sorry I gave you too much of my energy, even though I know you weren't giving it back to me. That was my bad. I stay stuck in that. I hide behind material things for some of you. Like, the comfort level is real. So it's not just money. No, no, no. Coin is 
different. It's not just money. It's what we know to be true. That means our everyday living environment. I hide behind material things. Some of you hide behind this sense of comfort. You just got into this habit of um, not showing much, not giving much, not receiving much because it was a form of self-sabotage energy. You know, despite your willingness to try to love and be loved, that doesn't mean that sometimes we don't set ourselves up for failure. We form attachments to the wrong people and it's because we refuse to look at what we're doing and why. So you get comfortable, in other words, behind, behind material things. Oh, some of you, you left other people before they could get uh, close to you, that or vice versa. Anything else, please? Hmm. This is terribly interesting. But yeah, some of you hide your true feelings and your wants and expectations behind material things. You know, but that's going to stop. That's going to stop. You meant the right one this time. And it will move fast. I hope that one day you can forgive me. I don't know what that means or to who. You know, you apply it to your life as you see fit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Some of you have moved on from many multiple beginnings because you just weren't sure or you couldn't listen to your intuition or you didn't know what was going on. I'm seeing a mixture of things. But, Cappy, the good news is it's looking like that's coming to an end, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay? Mm. Excellent, Capricorn. All right. Put in the comments as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.